the Colonial. It's a short trip from my Airbnb, and it's not that far from hotels either. It's only about five, six, seven minutes, and it's a really reasonable taxi ride. Yesterday it cost us three dollars American, and you can see they'll take us through the town a little bit and take us into the parquet area, which will give us the most. Uh, it's the most area for tourism. It has the restaurants. Uh, coffee shops, lots of tiendas, uh, mucho comida, mucho tiendas, mucho personas, uh, turistas, y locals también. Ricardo, remember, if you like our channel, please hit the like and subscribe. We travel, we look to bring you nice content, answer many questions so that you can make an informed decision when you travel, and be safe and secure. So, I arrived here in Santo Domingo, uh, late Friday night actually, early Saturday morning about 1 a.m. 1 and uh, yesterday spent the time just kind of getting the lay of the land. We were over here at Zona Colonial yesterday, and it was a good time. Uh, weather's nice, a little bit of rain in the morning, but it turns into sun, as you can see, in the afternoon. Uh, actually, about 10 o'clock in the morning, it turned into sun. So it's been nice. They are running a uh, curfew here. This is uh, the 22nd of November, 2020, and I actually, we rented those bicycles yesterday. So yeah, you can rent bicycles, it cost us $3. Uh, we were able to ride all over Zona Colonial and other places. So this is the park area. Typically lots of activity. Um, not as much tourism right now because of the curfews and the uh, COVID. Okay, the taxi driver just let me off here in, it's called Parque Colonial. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of activity going on. You see there's even a Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Uh, and again, remember that this is on uh, when there's COVID going on. So typically they have told me yesterday there's a lot more activity, okay? But you can see there's still good activity today. This is a Sunday, Domingo in Santo Domingo y Parque Colonial. Uh, muchas actividad, es bueno. Not a whole, I'm not seeing a whole lot of Europeans or Americans at the moment, but there is a lot of activity. You see that there's someone there getting ready to do some magic and then you see Minnie Mouse of course saying hello and they're here for the kids so again lots of activity lots of families lots of restaurants lots of activity going on My understanding, they told me yesterday, there's also a lot of people come here for photos, taking photos, uh, for graduations, marriages, things of that nature. You see there's a lot of people dressed up. So this is a big uh, area for locals to come also. Mucho popular por lo que es también y turistas y Todo Personas is uh, muy famosa in Santo Domingo. You can see these gentlemen here are well dressed. And this is an area, once again, people aren't uneducated. People are, well, you have people that are nice people. And they'll treat you very hospitably if you are nice. Oh, there's some tourists. I ate here yesterday, good restaurant, and they tell me that this 
place right here where they make tobacco. You can go in there and watch them roll cigars, and I guess they're pretty famous here for that. You can see the architecture. You can see why they call it Zona Colonial. This is uh, the actually the original and first city that uh, was discovered and built. And my understanding is it was the son of uh, Christopher Columbus, about 200 years, I believe, before he discovered the Americas. You'll see there's people here practicing music and teaching music, and you'll see these folks here are enjoying music. So this is definitely a gathering spot, and you'll see here there's some different uh, folks over here. Once again, different kind of music. So people are enjoying themselves, people are sitting here watching, people are enjoying the restaurants. As I move further down into the shopping district, you'll see tiendas, stores, and again, lots of activities, lots of stores. Uh, you'll see different vendors out, and lots of activity. I'm going to go ahead and get something to eat now, so I'll give you some more details here soon. Okay, so now I'm heading from Parque Colonial. Again, the main square center of activity. And I'm heading toward the restaurant district, although you see there are restaurants here. I'm heading towards the restaurant district where there's a lot more restaurants. And once again, you see activities going on here. Lots of families. You do see they had the mask on for COVID. And you can, once again, if you're nice, and you can find somebody here for uh, helping you move along and see the different areas. So if you take a look at this restaurant, you take a look inside, it's actually quite nice. And this is indicative of the area. Lots of activity, nice places. And you see it's kind of, uh, not necessarily high end, but it's certainly not low class. These are nice areas, very nice architecture, restaurants, shaded area with many trees. So it's enjoyable to sit here and eat. Although it's in the 80s today, I don't feel hot in this area. So again, uh, we tried to go in Segazona, um, but I uh, just could not find something that I liked. Um, Actually, it was a little bit slow on service, um, but it looked pretty good, actually. Um, so, I've decided on uh, this place here, and I'll get you the name of it here in a minute. Um, but obviously, you can see it's very busy. Uh, Phoenix is the name of this particular restaurant. Um, so, it's uh, apparently pretty popular. Lots of people. Yeah, lots of activity and I'll tell you more about the food once I get inside but as you can see the uh, area is getting a lot of activity today much much more than it was yesterday the service appears very good from what I can see people are literally hustling to get people served um, they were very concerned about me having to wait for a table so they actually went up to some other customers and see how long they were going to be at I like it. Again, Phoenix Restaurante. Phoenix Restaurante, right next to Parque Colonial. Okay. Entonces, muy bueno aquí por the Phoenix Restaurante. Muchas personas. Um, muy bueno. No mucho sal. Entonces, es, uh, es bueno. Okay. 
So while I'm standing here waiting, you'll see they uh, just started pulling up and they're going to play. So these guys walk around and uh, for a couple of dollars they'll go ahead and play songs. Obviously this is an uh, area once again where tourism is king. That's how they make their living. So for the tourists or for locals, whatever it might be, what they do is they go and they look, see if somebody wants to play them a song. And of course that's how they make their living. I actually paid them $2 or $3 yesterday to play a song. nice about it. They're not going to make you uh, or try to be forceful. So you can see there's different kinds of vendors here. Uh, a little traffic jam going on at the moment because there's this train that will take you around the town, Zona Colonial, and surrounding areas and uh, you can see the cars are trying to get through. There's another car parked here. But it's because there's a lot of activity. As you can see, things going on. And as a result, it's just sitting here waiting for folks. You'll see the, uh, you can also rent bicycles and things of that nature for two, for singles. And you'll see there's different people here from different countries. Here's some French nationals here. Ah, uh, see, see. So this is definitely the area where people come, congregate, enjoy themselves, visit the restaurants, and then lots of activity. So again, here we are in Zona Colonial, okay, and here's some uh, folks from. Uh, Canada and he's got a friend from France so there are some uh, folks here from other countries and your name sir Max. Max okay so this is Max from Canada why are you here today uh, I am because it's uh, I think it's important to discover the cultural side of the country you're visiting and Santo Domingo is one of the most historic uh, City in all of the Caribbean, so I, it's important for me to discover it. Okay, and how long have you been here? In Dominican or in... Uh, in Santo Domingo? Three days. Okay, Dominican total? Uh, three winters. Okay. Half a year, three years. Okay, so this is not your first time here? No, it is not. Okay, so you obviously enjoy the country. How about the people? What do you think of the people? People are so friendly. Montreal, if I say hello to the stranger, I get... It's <laughs> over. Yeah, here is, it's common knowledge to salute everyone you see. I love Spanish culture. I love Caribbean culture. I, I, yeah. Yes, I agree. I've been visiting uh, the Dominican for a couple of years. Love it. Yeah. Latin countries, many Latin countries. Um, so one of the reasons for uh, interviewing you is to get a different perspective, yeah. so that the people of the world can see that many people are coming here and why. Okay. So how about the safety? How do you find the safety? And I can see you're a friendly guy, okay? Do you feel that helps you when you're here? I think it does. I think, I think, uh, I think it does, and I think uh, speaking Spanish helps a lot. Too. Yes. So we try to tell our viewers that the nicer they are, the more respectful people will be to them. Yeah. Okay, do you find that the case? I would tend to agree. Okay. I do have a phone call. Okay. Thank you for your time. Okay, take care. Enjoy your trip.
Okay, guys, so we're here at the restaurant. Let me tell you that the food is absolutely spectacular. Very, very good. Very, very reasonable. Um, this particular meal is going to cost me on the order of six American dollars. Okay? You can't beat it. Very good. You're probably talking, uh, oh, $15, $25, somewhere in that range in the United States and Canada. Okay? Food is very good. Um, don't drink the water. You definitely want to get bottled water here because the water, unfortunately, is not really very good if you're not from this country because it will upset your stomach or it can upset your stomach. But lots of activity here, and I had said earlier that there weren't any uh, perhaps tourists from other countries, but as I see you eating, I see many. As you see, I interviewed a man from uh, Canada and his friend from France. Um, we had some folks over here that were from other countries sitting next to us. Folks over here from the Dominican, of course, lots of Dominicans here. This is a very popular spot. Um, so I just wanted to fill you in on that. The restaurant is very reasonable, very good service. They are busy, and that's good. I'm glad to see some people coming back to visit. The uh, country's starting to uh, generate more tourism now that they're open. So again, it is November 22nd, okay? And it is 2020. So it's a very good time come here and everybody's very receptive, very hospitable. Again, remember, always treat them nice and then we'll treat them many times better. Okay? So ciao for now and we'll get you on the back side.